So within Power World, you can breed those pals, make more powerful babies, even crossbreed certain pals and create unique monsters. But the breeding isn't straightforward unless you know what you're doing. It requires a bit of work and getting used to. In this video, I bring you a complete guide on everything you need to know about breeding. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, to meet new friends playing Power World, come and join my Discord community, link down below. So you want to breed your pals people, make powerful babies, cross breed pals and find secret hybrids? I fully understand. I dedicated a whole day trying to figure out exactly what you need to do in order to breed. And finally guys, I fully understand what you have to do here. So I'm going to pass on my knowledge. So first things first, to initially even begin the process of breeding, you need to be at a level of 19. At this level, you can then unlock the breeding pen blueprint. Now, to build this, it requires wood, stone, and fiber, all easy to obtain. But be warned, this breeding pen is pretty big, and for myself, finding a place to fit it, I had to more or less rearrange my entire base to fit this in. I really didn't think it was going to be this big, but I managed to fit it in within the end. So once you've made space for it and you've got your breeding pen down, there's more you have to do. Firstly, you need a male and female of the same pal. Unless you know of any that will crossbreed, either or, you still need a male or female. Keep in mind, hybrids are in this game. Right now, as I make this video before the game's even been released, I don't know of any. As soon as I do, videos will come. But for now, for this guide, to keep it simple, we'll stick to breeding two of the same pal. So you need a male and female, and they need to be placed inside of that breeding pen. Now, if any of the mating pair have any negative status effects, this can stop the breeding process, so keep that in mind. If this is the case for you and they ain't breeding, uh, put them in your power box and give them a rest. So once you see that progress bar, basically them breeding, it doesn't end there. I wish it did. You also now have to have a cake, and that cake needs to be placed inside of that breeding pen's box. So where do you get these cakes from? Well, this is the semi-hard part. There are two ways of getting these cakes. The easiest way, in my opinion, is to set up your own cake crafting farm. Or you can trek across the map at night, up into the colder areas and find a rare pal, farm them for a chance of them dropping these cakes. But do keep in mind, they hit hard, they're high leveled and you will need to be stacked early on to even stand a chance at going up to these areas. Now the pal itself is called the Lavender, it only appears at night and it is a stretch to go and get. So in my opinion, it's way easier just setting yourself up to create your own cakes. So that's what I'm going to explain to you guys. Let's craft our own cakes. So to bake cakes, you need that cooking pot. This requires wood, ingots and flame organs, which drop from most fire type pals. So upon you crafting this cooking pot, you can now see the ingredients needed for that cake. And they are five flour, eight red berries, seven milk, eight eggs and two honey. Now luckily with my help you will not struggle to get mass amounts of any of these. Now there is a nearby vendor who stocks some of these items but I will also show you guys how you can produce all of your own of these ingredients at the same time. Firstly the vendor's location seen right here on the screen. Now you can see where the initial starting point is it isn't far away whatsoever so come here guys and follow the path I take to this vendor. You can see he sells milk. He sells wheat with those seeds too, which is needed to make flour. He sells red berries as well as their seeds and also eggs. Now if you have plenty of gold, stock up. Now there are a few items missing here which he doesn't sell, but I'll show you how you can get these too. So first things first guys, flour. So to produce flour you first need that wheat, which that vendor did sell. Now for the long run and to make it more efficient on yourself in that long run, to get wheat guys it's best to create your own wheat plantation, which is an early unlock. To craft this it requires wheat seeds, wood and stone. Keep in mind when this is created, 
You need a base power with watering and a base power with that planting trait as well as a base power with that gathering trait too to actually gather these ingredients and store them for you so make sure there is a nearby storage container for them. In fact in regards to wheat as well as berries which they will also gather for you they normally do place them inside of that food box so if you have one of them check that often but we'll talk more about that in a quick second. So yes, with your own wheat now, you now need to make that flour. To do this, you need the mill. This is easily crafted and again requires a watering pail to get this to work and produce that flour for you. Now the same traits as in planting and watering goes for the red berry plantation too. Early on though, there are so many red berry plants, uh, this shouldn't be a struggle. But either or guys, you should probably get this down anyway, for the long run. So milk you can also buy from that vendor I just showed you guys but there's also a pal called the Mazarina which has that farming trait and will drop milk for you. Now the location of where you can get these uh, you can see on screen now. Eggs again you can buy from that vendor but catching a couple of the little chicks, um, these little pals, because they have that farming trait they will drop eggs for you. Now these chicks also are everywhere so you shouldn't really struggle finding them whatsoever. And then there is the honey. Now there is a pal called the Bee Guardi and Elizabeth. These have that farming trait and will drop honey for you and the location of where these can be found you'll see on screen now. Now keep in mind that the powers that drop these ingredients so the, the milk, the honey, the eggs they only do so when there's a ranch within your base and make sure these powers are within that base pal section within that pal box. You also here like I said want a watering pal, you want a gardening pal and if you've got room you want one that gathers too. Now keep in mind there are powers that do multiple of these jobs for you so it isn't rare to find a power which offers multiple of these traits which is pretty cool. Now as I said earlier when you have those base powers auto dropping those ingredients within your ranch within your base if you have that base power that will gather said items they usually take them to the food box which by the way guys your powers will eat so just keep that in mind and check it quite often. And if you can craft a cooler box too to store said items as it also drastically increases and makes better of that spoil time. The cooler box though to work will also need a pal with that cooling tray to un. So now you have all the ingredients to make that cake so now you want to go ahead and do so. Keep in mind actually making a cake takes about 5 minutes of crafting it's wild how long this takes. Ok so now you have your cake. You now guys want to breed said two pals, male and female, so put them in that breeding pen. Now guys with that cake placed within that breeding pen box and upon the breeding pair's progress bar being filled up you will notice an egg will appear. And well now guys you have to hatch said egg and to do this you need that egg incubator. Now to unlock this guys you need to have ancient technology points. You can get these upon defeating powerful enemies, these consists of will bosses and those trainer bosses too. Now upon you having these and you unlocking that egg incubator, you now need to craft it. This requires ancient civilization parts. These are some of the various materials in the game and are not that easy to get but to get these guys, to get these ancient civilization parts. They drop from a few different sources, shining powers which are the super rare, bigger and shining variants of powers you'll see around the map, I mean these again are super super rare but if you catch them, take them out, you should get them dropped for you. Also dungeon bosses will drop these parts as well as will bosses too. So there's quite a few places you can get them and there's actually quite a few easy dungeons you can take part in as well and take out the boss quite easily. So once you have what's needed guys go ahead and craft that egg incubator and then simply put your egg within it. Now these eggs require different climates which you if you get right can speed up the process of them hatching. But when said egg is done and it's finally incubated you now have a new member to your family. 
And well guys, there we have it. That is more or less everything you need to know about breeding powers within that power world. Now if you have any other questions, let me know down below within that comment section. Or you can hit me up on my Discord linked down below. Now guys, on my channel I've got plenty of guides for this game. Uh, secret power locations, secret vendor locations, guides on this and the other, so do check them out. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.